it's all about the heat these next few days. Yeah. Um, the humidity is going to be going nowhere either. The weekend looks awesome, though. That's when we finally get some relief. Look at the hat shell this morning, guys. Driving by it this morning at about 2.30 a.m. It was all lit up. Oh, beautiful. We're getting things going. Hazy kind of look out over the hat shell this morning on the es Esplanade. And heat advisories are up again today, and they include for the city of Boston as well. For the heat index values, up to 104 degrees. I think for most of us, it's upper 90s to low 100s, especially when you head through the interior. 70 to 75 right now. It's a muggy start. We're in the mid-60s for the Outer Cape. Look at Chatham. The temperature's 64 as well as the dew point. When those temperatures and dew points get close together, you get fog that develops, and we have a dense fog advisory up for the South Shore, South Coast, Cape and Islands until 9 a.m. this morning. So thick fog you'll encounter in spots, and that's one thing to be aware of as you step out the door this morning. Satellite and radar pretty quiet. A few sprinkles here across uh, north of Manchester, across central New Hampshire right now. There's a kind of weakening front that's going to be sliding overhead today, and that front will be the trigger for a couple hit or miss thunderstorms this afternoon. High temperatures, 90 in Boston. 89 in Plymouth, 80s on the Cape, 70s on Nantucket, and most of us will be 90 to 95 here from the coastline north and west of Boston with those heat index values around 100. Threat for thunderstorms today, generally after 2 p.m., so you're going to start to see some of those building clouds. And again, they're hit or miss, so not every community is going to see them. The primary risk today, though, is for torrential downpours because these storms are going to be slow movers. Notice they kind of move actually from east to west through the uh, late afternoon and evening. So by 7 p.m. there will likely still be a few storms around. These should dwindle after about 9 p.m. So I know there are some fireworks celebrations tonight. Any thunderstorms should be dissipating at that point. There may be some fog and low cloud cover for the south shore back down to the Cape that may inhibit viewing in some cities and towns that have those fireworks celebrations this evening. Heavy downpours, Street flooding localized possible in any thunderstorms that develop. Again, I don't think they're going to be all that widespread, but the risk is there today. Lightning, obviously, in any storms that develop, damaging wind gusts, a lower risk would be isolated as well. Warm and muggy with that coastal fog developing tonight. Overnight lows in the mid 70s tomorrow for the fourth mid to upper 80s at the coast, 90 to 95 inland again. So there will be a little bit of relief at the beaches tomorrow. I know they're going to be packed. Threat for thunderstorms tomorrow. Lower than today, isolated risk mainly inland, I'd say outside of 128 where that little sea breeze boundary develops. So keep an eye on the sky tomorrow. Fireworks celebrations have stopped the map at 11 p.m. look good to go. Except for Cape Cod where there may be some low cloud cover and fog, again, inhibiting visibility just a bit. So if you're headed down to the Esplanade, 10.30 p.m. tomorrow night, few clouds, warm and muggy at that point. We should be cooling off a bit. It's still going to be quite sticky. Upper 70s, what it, uh, the temperature will be, it'll feel like the low 80s by the time those fireworks kick off. Thursday, another extremely hot day. Low 90s in Boston, mid to upper 90s. So the heat is going nowhere, really right on through Thursday. Friday, there'll be a little bit of a change. Upper 80s to low 90s. Strong to potentially severe storms on Friday afternoon and evening, and that is the sharp cold front that brings change for the weekend. Less humid, beautiful Saturday. Any morning clouds give way to sunshine. Sunday, low humidity, temperatures in the lower 80s, and then look sunny to start next week, too. We warm back up into the mid to upper 80s.